that has made a huge difference that is brilliant i like that well good morning youtube it's a um it's a horrible day in the uk today dark windy and uh, somehow it feels like toto's just flown past and we're not in kansas anymore um so um it gives me the opportunity to uh going to the garage um but unfortunately yeah it's working now but earlier that poor old light up there was just flashing you can probably see it now it's it's strobing it's on its last legs it's had it it's gone uh to be fair it's probably 20 years old maybe even a little bit more so it's done okay but it's no good for me working it's it's dull, it's horrible, and to be honest, the, the other strip light is much better. So what I've done is gone onto Screwfix, and I'll put the link in the description, and I've got myself a new one. So I'm going to go pick it up, and I'm going to take you through fixing the thing up. Um, yeah, there you go. Something you can do on a, a cold, horrible, dark Saturday. So over the Screwfix it is. Um, <laughs> one thing I didn't... I didn't do it on camera because it wouldn't be kind, but I'm not like that. Um, one thing it did make me chuckle slightly is um, we just had some door knockers come round. Um, <laughs> they're the only ones that are brave in this kind of weather at the moment. Bless them. Um, yeah, they, they don't come to our door anymore. I'm never rude to them, um, but I just don't want to, uh, to participate in their ideals. Um, I have my own ideals, I'm not going to force those on anybody else and uh, basically I don't want theirs just in case you're wondering by the way why I roll backwards and forwards like that at the beginning of these videos in the cars I've got granite on the drive I dug up the front garden years ago because I've got three cars and put granite on the drive if you ever do that <laughs> be prepared for it to stick to your tyres and then when you drive off it ends up all over the road so I try and stop that happening so just in case you wondered you probably never did right um off the screw fix oh we've got the politicians around now as well so we've had um we've had some door knockers and now we've got some politicians excellent we've got everything out today i suppose it's not raining so um yeah they're making the most of it um, okay fair enough each to their own right let's go and get this light and then uh, you can join me later for uh, screwing it to the ceiling catch you in a minute Here we are, Screwfix. I'll tell you what, for anything you want, these are the first people to check. They have done me proud over the past few months. Uh, what's this clown behind doing? I mean, call them. I think I'll park here because he's being a bit daft. <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, um, whenever you're looking for something for your home DIY wise, try here first. You may be surprised. Um, I used to be an advocate of places, uh, other places, I'm not going to name them. Um, but, Screwfix, Screwfix does me well. Okay, Even the unexpected does me well. I built a cabinet, a radiator cabinet in a previous video and there were some uh, pegs missing where you have a peg and um, like a barrel clips into it I hadn't sent enough of these pegs I thought where am I gonna get these from search the internet uh, searched eBay searched everywhere you would looked here at the pack about 100 for £2.50 brilliant job done right let's get in there let's get this light and then get home and, um, and get the job done catch you in a minute <laughs> Trying to, uh, to go home and into the refuge of the garage, I think. 
A bit of a slide in there. There you go, all safe. Right, before we get blown off the earth, let's go. It's going to be another one of those days where every single traffic light hates me. <laughs> oh, there's too many traffic lights in Peterborough. Definitely too many traffic lights. We've got the wings down in Cambridge. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Oh my God, have we got the wings today? <laughs> So that is what I'm dealing with and that's why I just got the light. This time it didn't come back. It's died. It's the end of. It is an X fluorescent lamp. <sighs> so first job and uh, I've got the head cam on now so you're going to follow me with whatever I'm doing. Hello morning. Hi. Morning. Washing time. Morning. You know like we haven't seen each other this morning at all. So first of all the specs have to go on because I can't do anything without specs. Right, <coughs> box. Doorbell outside. Mm, kitchen nook. Right. Absolutely no idea which one's the garage one. Can you go in the garage and tell me when the lights go off? <laughs> this is why you have wives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't to self. Don't talk to YouTube <laughs> when the wife's still in the earshot. Oh, I did leave it unlocked. The wind must have blown it shut again. Right, I think. It's possibly the downstairs lights. I have a strange feeling. Okay, no, she's not come back in yet, so we'll do the upstairs lights. All right, tell me if they come back on again. This is where you need a walkie talkie. Yeah, just right, are they off now? There we go. I do believe we found it. Yep, they're off. Excellent. Right, I'll go and do my job then. Au revoir. Bye. <sighs> right, YouTube. The lights are off. What I do want to do, and I think if I plan this right, it should work a treat. I have a big old LED light here. And I'm going to plug that in. And that will then blind me and everybody on the internet. Oh, there you go. Right, we now have a work light. So, you are now joining me for every single thing to do with changing this light. Hopefully, it won't be too boring for you. So, first of all, we need to get that out. Um, that obviously doesn't need to be broken because we are environmentally conscious here. So that needs to be put somewhere safe, out the way. And that will do for now. It will go down to the recycling to be disposed of properly. Ah, so, by the looks of it, that needs to come off there, that needs to come off there. And that, I suspect, is going to give me access. So, all the people at the moment shouting, Oh, you don't want to be doing this, DIY person shouldn't be doing this. Um, I have done courses on electrics and I've done electrics in previous jobs. So, although I'm not an electrician and never will claim to be, I do know how electrics works. I don't know how to be safe around electrics. 
so please don't give me a hard time right so look at this first of all very interesting um you have an earth there which is going to the chassis and somebody's put an extra earth on there um i suppose you can't be too safe but to be honest a little bit unnecessary but there you go um do apologize by the way if the the videos are a bit all over the place i am looking a bit as we speak and uh so, oh that's well on there so let's get a screwdriver um i was going to say i don't need that one so basically i was going to pull it off but uh whoever did it fair game to them did a, a fairly decent job of it um why can you never find a flathead when you need one so there you go one flathead screwdriver now one thing i am going to do before i get too involved in this and it's purely for my own safety is i am going to run a multimeter across the terminals now obviously the light switch is on at the moment and there is no lights to the unit itself as the light would be on and that one behind me would be on as well but for my own peace of mind i'm going to run my cheap nasty chinese multimeter across i've got a better one somewhere i should use that really but there you go this will do so we're on i see current go there and find the live and neutral which in this system is black and red very old school but there you go not going to complain yeah one on there one on there absolutely nothing i am happy with that it's completely dead i didn't expect it to be anything other than but you can never be too careful around electrics so we pop off the live we pop off the negative or neutral or whichever way you want to say it it's all the same and we get rid of the old school excellent right we've got a couple of screws there holding it to the rafters it'd be nice if i could use those again but i can guarantee it ain't gonna happen but i want it off anyway so off it comes wasn't much holding it on to be honest a couple of uh a couple of wood screws i think to be honest this is the original fitting a bit bemused one i've sort of um painted some of this and painted uh, not painted some but there you go not gonna argue it's only a garage it doesn't need to be pretty it needs to be functional so screw off which basically was into plasterboard anyway so it wasn't doing a lot it certainly wasn't on a on a joist it uh, i think it marked the joist and by the looks of it yeah it was way off <laughs> there you go can't have everything i shouldn't criticize because to be honest if the holes don't line up when i put it back up again it might be in the same places or it might even be only into the plasterboard there we go so that's as easy as it is to take it off okay it's only crash it's only three wires um your live is in this particular case we've got red and black live and neutral and the earth it's pretty universal that is yellow and green again i'm not an electrician i'm not trying to tell you how to do this or preach to you but you know i do know enough about electrics to work safely right oh i need a bigger garage a bigger house or a workshop uh, i'm going to move that because that is absolutely dazzling me and to be honest it's probably not doing you any favors either um turn the multimeter off and stick it back while I'm at it, yes, the garage is a mess. It's a working garage. Get over it. <laughs> all right, let's open this up. We all love an unboxing. So I'm going to try to unbox this. That's the best place to. There we go. That's the best place to open it. Slip a screwdriver in there. Give it a little bit of a pull. Yeah, we all love an internet unboxing. Not boring in the slightest. Hmm. Right, well that's, I was hoping that would come out a bit cleaner, but there you go. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, if you can't, basically I'm ripping the box to bits at the moment, so you're not missing anything at all. So, as I said, this came from Screwfix. 
it's called a lap lap it is 4.4 4400 lumens uh, at 43 watts um, obviously that stuff's important but not to me um, the reviews were very good on this everybody that uh, left the review basically said for the price cracking little unit so that's good enough for me um, I'm not a big brand advocate and to be honest I don't go for a particular brand I go for what seems the best quality at the best price. So let's have a quick look what we're going to do here. Just by the looks of it straight away, I may have to do a little bit of um, rerouting of wires. I might even have to extend it, so that's going to be fun. Wasn't what I was planning, but yeah, such is life. Um, okay, we've got some instructions. Maybe I should look at them. Yeah, I've looked at them. <laughs> so by the looks of it the wires simply push in and the wires do go into the end so um, I've got a problem I've got to do me a little bit of um, remedial work by the looks of it um, the wire used to go into the middle I'm not going to extend it if anything I'm going to replace it so um, rather than bought you tears I might at this point just switch the camera off and uh, work this one out off camera um, it's nothing major but again um, usually you have a middle slot on the older stuff and an end slot this has only got the end slot so it is what it is uh, I'm not going to say it's annoying or anything like that because it's perfectly fine all I've got to do is lay a new piece of wiring and I've got some wiring for lighting circuits so it ain't a biggie um, but just looking at this there's where your wires attach. Um, by the looks of it, they simply clip in. Uh, clip in and that clamps down. Um, slightly unusual for a light fitting, but um, yeah, seems to be okay. Um, my next task is how do you get inside? I'm guessing you drop these off. It might be better to go in for the other end, to be honest. Let's just have a quick look. Um, no, strangely enough, you've got the same combination on each end, so you can plug these in from any end. Um, okay, that's pretty good. I'll be honest, if you're laying them in sequence, um, in something like a workshop, that is ideal, because pretty much um, before you had to use a lot of extra wire because it, uh, they didn't go in the end like this certainly in the older, uh, in the older light fittings um, so that could be beneficial to anybody who say that's laying them in uh, in a sequence around a workshop or, or even in a ceiling but uh, yeah I'm kind of hoping and guessing there are going to be some holes <laughs> Um, actually no, I'm being really dumb. Why don't I look at what came with it? You have clips like that. Excellent. Right, okay, so I've worked it out. Um, if I took a little time and thought about it, I'd have probably worked it out a lot quicker. But, so we have a bungos in that end, like so. Um, to obviously seal that up, bung that off. And you obviously have the wire coming in this end and that will be through one of those and that will fit in there like so which uh, again yeah it's quite nice even though it's not supposed to be an outside one that's pretty good um let's say my problem now is i've got to do a little bit of rerouting so i'm gonna to have to um i'm gonna to have to play about a little bit so um i'm gonna take the headset off just for now <sighs> like that and uh, join me later. Okay, YouTube. So the remedial work is done. Remedial work is done. Um, extended the the wire. Not very really happy about that. Let's make sure that I'm going to stick those up properly later. They're not doing much at the moment. So the remedial work is done. I've got the new wire laid in. Um, I found some joists to put the the brackets against. So now in 
theory, I'm going to offer this up for the first time and then I shall um, stick the wires in, bolt it all up properly. So that's, that's nice and easy. Look at that. Good stuff. So, I think to save myself the hassle, I'm going to um, yeah, probably, I don't know, I was going to say take it down and do it, do it down, but to be honest, I think if I tidy those wires up there, if I give myself plenty of slack, I think, let's, let's give it a cut, watch your fingers, we're standing nice people. I think I can wire it up without too much hassle, to be honest. Um, right, so let's just pull these back like that. Hmm. Yeah, one of the cable clips has just hit me on the shoulder, so that's obviously in there. Really good. I've got some new ones though, so I'll put some no nails in there, stick them up, make sure they're nice and solid afterwards. Don't need to worry too much at the moment. Um, again, if you're looking at the junk in the garage, um, enjoy! <laughs> the junk in front of me is my helicopters and you'll see plenty of videos on those. And uh, yeah, they are um, they're beasts. Never call them a toy. Um, if you think a, lot, a fly mode's a toy, think of a helicopter in the same way. The trouble is, if one of those blades hits you, it's going through you. On the fly mode, at least you've got something over the blades. Anyway, I am waffling. Uh, so just Peeling that back like that. Okay. So as I say, looking, looking at this actual connection, they do just push in, um, which is the first time I've seen them. I'll be honest. But if that's the case, um, you know, we have it with plumbing fittings today. They just clip in, so if electrical items are going the same way, then um, yeah, why not? Oh, there you go, just bashing my head on the ceiling. Sure, that makes for a great video. Yeah. Um, have I ever mentioned that I'm I'm not a a video performer? I am a guy that uses a video camera to stick random stuff on YouTube. <laughs> so there we go. Right, just need I'm going to nick it off the old one. I need myself a little bit of earth wire. So obviously shield that over. Never ever put a bare earth wire up because earth wires are there to save your life. Because if you get a short, if you get an issue, it needs to go to ground, not go through you to ground. Because it will. Electricity like water will follow the quickest route to where it needs to go. And if it needs to go to ground, it'll go to ground. And it will go through you to ground. Right, okay, so if I've got this right, typical old union connection, which is great. I do like those, I tidy everything up. Right, this is going to be a new experience for you and me, YouTube. So, live. In there and click. Okay, that was far too easy. <laughs> Neutral. And I'm talking about the, the earth, but to be honest, I'm not seeing an earth post. Which, I guess for something plastic, doesn't need it. Um, hmm, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but again, I'm not, uh, mm, I don't know, I'm a bit... I'm a bit sort of in two directions when it comes to not using earths to be honest but anyway here's what it is all right so in theory that goes back through there okay this is not probably the easiest way of doing it I'm sure somebody will be screaming at the internet right now telling me I'm an idiot I'd probably agree with you. Well, that on there like that. Oop. 
screw that little beauty back in. He says, with all the confidence in the world. Okay, that seems to be attached there. Which way around does that go? It goes, I believe, the other way. Does it go the other way? Or does it go the other way? No, it goes that way. Okay, so. That in there like, oops, bugger. <laughs> right. Maybe I will drop this down just slightly because <laughs> I can't see what on earth I'm doing at the moment. No, I was right the first time. Well, the Muppet, there you go. So it goes like that. Two screws in the end. Like so. I'm sure there's easier ways of doing it. I started that screw. Let's get the other one in. in there like that. That is in there like that. Give it a bit of a slide because I don't quite want it that far. That I'm going to tack it later. I'm going to tidy it up because I'm not happy with the whole arrangement there. That I'm going to now clamp up like that and that looks good. Now in theory it should work. So, follow me inside. We're going to do this live, guys. I could have made a complete mess of this, and I hope I haven't. So, we nip it inside. Oh, looks like the wife finished her washing all right. Now we're back on. Okay, RCD hasn't tripped. So, I can only assume I've done a half decent job. Either that, or it doesn't work at all find out. Wow, it works! Look at that, that was easy. And um, yeah, let's just switch that one off. Oh, that is, um, wow. <laughs> I hope you can see this on camera because yeah, that has made a huge difference. That is, let me just shut the door because we've obviously got the light of the day at the moment. So yeah, um, that was an absolute mess in here. That has made a huge difference. That is brilliant. I like that. Um, my only problem now is the other one's crap. <laughs> That's great. So there you go. That is a um, a lap um, fluorescent two bar. Uh, I think it's 4400 lumens um, light in my garage. Um, and to be honest, very impressed. So. There you go, hope it's been of help. Um, sorry if the video is all over the place. Uh, I'm not gonna tell until editing whether it's gonna be rubbish or not. If it is rubbish, I'll still post it up because yeah, it might be helpful to somebody. But uh, certainly those new connections I'm impressed with. You just push the wires in and they, they grab them. Uh, so that's nice and easy. Uh, no screws because with those you can miss sometimes or you can push it in too far and, and screw down the flex rather than the actual uh, inside copper itself. But that was easy. Um, apart from having to extend the wire a bit. So I'm now going to tidy things up and um, join me again. Subscribe and, and like if you do like it. If you don't like it, I'm sure you will put a, a negative thumbs down because that's the way the internet works. Right, thanks guys. Um, I will now turn you around and I'll say goodbye properly um, from a hot, sweaty garage. Um, but it's better than being outside because it's damn windy out there. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye.